It's been said one machine can do the work of 50 ordinary people, but no machine can do the work of one extraordinary person. We like extraordinary. It's important to us to do first class work, uh, best in class, uh, best in the world, and, and you need really good people to do that work. So we're looking for students that have a strong background in mechanical engineering and they're looking to solve the societal problems of the next century. It's very important uh, passion and commitment uh, and it's very important curiosity, I would say. If you're curious about what you could achieve with the right resources, mentorship and support, you might be exactly the type of student we are looking for. The focus of my research is preventing colorectal cancer. So what I particularly like about Vanderbilt Engineering is the fact that Vanderbilt is a very diverse school. You get better ideas, you get new ideas. This is one surgical design uh, I'm working on. Actually, I just uh, transferred from Columbia University to here. The reason is that if you take a look at our department, you will notice that there are four medical robot uh, labs. When it comes to the rapidly growing field of medical robotics, Vanderbilt's mechanical engineering is in a class all by itself. A student wants to come in, conduct studies in rehabilitation robotics or surgical robotics. There, there's not a better place in the world. We're one of the few programs that's just next door to uh, a world-class medical center. And in our program, you basically live in both places. So first of all, you can get the best training here in that subject area that you can get anywhere. Then secondly, because you have those people, you see a million different projects all the time. And so when you come out of here, you have a really broad exposure and a lot of experience in, in that whole field. Vanderbilt University is also home to two leading research institutes, the Center for Intelligent Mechatronics and the Vanderbilt Initiative in Surgery and Engineering. My research is about capsule robots. So capsule robots are inch size capsule that can be swallowed by the patient and diagnose and treat diseases in a completely non-invasive way. Thanks to the Vanderbilt environment, we are no more than five years away from having those devices on patients. I direct the Center for Intelligent Mechatronics uh, within the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Vanderbilt. Our center focuses technically on the development of robots that interact physically, really symbiotically with people. Artificial hands for upper extremity amputees and robotic uh, legs for lower extremity amputees. Uh, we develop robotic exoskeletons for people with spinal cord injury. I came here to start medical school and I knew that my clinical interest uh, was spinal cord injury. Then I found Dr. Goldfarb's lab and I thought, what better way to actually help people who are paralyzed? Mechanical Engineering Department Chair Bob Pitts and his colleagues focus on energy issues from a macro to a nano perspective. I developed laser diagnostics, new techniques using lasers to measure velocity, temperature, chemical composition, and combustion. We focus on what we call metamaterials. It's much larger than a real atom, but it's smaller than the wavelength of light. And so metamaterials can potentially play a central role in revolutionizing the way we send information using optical signals. So you want to change the world? So do we. It's what we do best. Insight. Innovation. Impact. Vanderbilt School of Engineering.